What's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragonhog here, and welcome to another installment of Ask the Sonic Crew. <sighs> Man, guys, you guys are probably wondering, how is it possible for me to do this episode of Ask the Sonic Crew while, you know, <laughs> I'm out here training in the Mobian lava fields? But luckily, I'm out of the lava fields. I actually am taking a break from training for right now, and I'm actually in the Friday Night Funkin' universe. Actually, see guys, the guests that I'm having for Ask the Sonic Crew, they're the people that you all been waiting to see. It is the Dearest Family, aka Mommy Dear Mommy Mirest, Daddy Dearest, and of course, their beautiful daughter, girlfriend. Go ahead guys, say hi. Hello everyone, it's me, girlfriend. And it's me, Mommy Mirest. And me, Daddy Dearest. It's really nice to see you all again. It's been so long. Yes, it's really nice to see all of you again. And, girlfriend... <laughs> and, girlfriend, I'm glad that you're still okay, right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just fine. Okay, good. Anyway, so, Mommy Mirest, Daddy Dearest, you guys haven't been on Ask the Sonic Crew before. Your daughter has, but you haven't. Basically, what this is, is um, a Q&A. All you have to do is just answer questions for the fans. Hmm, that sounds easy enough. Yep, it actually does sound easy. So, let's get started, shall we? Oh, one, hold on one moment, because I have to announce my co-host. Oh, okay. Okay, everybody. So, it took me long and hard to finally think of somebody who's going to be part of the Ask the Sonic crew um, thing, so that way we can get a co-host going. So we can have a co-host. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I actually have decided who's going to be the co-host. It's actually going to be somebody who's actually part of this family as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Cassandra. <laughs> Believe it or not, Cassandra is um, Pico's girlfriend and girlfriend's somewhat sister. Anyway, Cassandra, go ahead and say hi. Hello, everyone. It's me, Cassandra. Many of you guys don't remember seeing me, but I actually showed up to help Flame take on Hank dur during his um, rap battles. Yeah, well, actually, Pico helped, but you actually did a great job there, too. But anyway, so without further ado, let us begin with this episode of Ask the Sonic Crew. All right, so the first question here is for, ah, girlfriend. Okay, girlfriend, this question here is for you. Um, let's see. Ah, here we go. Okay, girlfriend, this question here is for you. Um, so how do you feel about everything that Flame has done for you to uh, help protect you from boyfriend? Oh, I really appreciated it. I really did. I really do appreciate everything that you're doing, Flame. I really do. I mean, no other person would help me. I mean, many others just want to kill me because, you know, I'm a demon. But I'm actually really flattered that you actually am helping me. Of course. You're one of my best friends. Of course. You're one of my best friends. I would do anything for you. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Thanks for answering that question, girlfriend. Short, sweet, and simple. Yeah. Mm. By the way, it's not over yet. We still need to face off against boyfriend. Yeah, I know. But that rap battle is going to have to wait until I face off against my father tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. Anyway, Cassandra, go ahead and ask your question to... Mommy Mirist. Alright, this question here is for you, Mommy Mirist. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Um, how did you, what was up with you when you first met the boyfriend in um the HD version of Friday Night Funkin'? Okay, listen, I just gotta make a confession about something. That wasn't me. That was actually my HD form. My HD self. Totally different universe. But in a way, that is still you, right? Well, y yes. She's so 
sort of kind of does have the hots for her boyfriend. It was a little bit weird. Yeah, I know. Because the whole time during the whole... I know, because the whole time during the whole rap battle, she's just, you know, been caressing her breast and then just, you know, with every pump, it just goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up. It's just weird. Yeah, I don't do that. I have much more class than that version of me. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, and plus, not to mention, she did kind of had that, uh, oh my gosh, I wish, he would, I wish he would just take his clothes off look in her eye, Ugh, which is just creepy. Yeah, it's a little bit creepy. That's why I don't like her that much. I mean, there's only one version of me that I like, and that would be the minus version of me. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the minus versions are pretty good. Anyway, next up is a question for Daddy Dearest. Okay, sir. Okay, sir, this question here is for you. Why do you hate the boyfriend so much? Okay, to tell you the truth, I really did hate the boyfriend. Reason why is because I really didn't want anybody to, you know, take my girl away from me. I mean, I'm her father. I know it's pretty rough to just let your little girl go and do whatever she wants, but I need to remember, she's not a little girl anymore. She's an adult. She's an adult. And eventually, she will get married and, you know, go off with somebody. But <laughs> to think, I actually thought she was going to get married and settle down with the boyfriend. But nope, he turned evil. But you know, Flame, since you're doing such a great job, I'm taking care of my girl. How about you marry her? Uh, sir, I honestly don't know. I don't know. I mean, me and girlfriend, we are really close and all, but I highly doubt if we will be that close. Well, even though I am her boyfriend, you know, her boyfriend slash rap battle supporter and stuff, but I honestly don't think that we will become more than just friends. I don't know. But anyway, um, but anyway, now it's time for the group question. Cassandra, would you mind reading it? All right, this question here is for all of you. Out of all the songs that you sung, which song do you like the most? Oh boy, now that is a good question. Okay, girlfriend, you start. Well, there's one song I really liked singing, and that would definitely be, and that would be the, um, that would definitely be the song that I sung, um, with, uh, believe it or not, with Hypno. That was a really great song. That song was good. And plus, not to mention, that was only a few times when I was playable. Yeah, not that many people, not that many people can play as you, girlfriend. But anyway, Mommy Mirist, what about you? Oh, well, I love MILF. Oh, you mean M-I-L-F? Yes, MILF. That's what I said. Oh, um, okay. But anyway, that it, I mean, don't get me wrong. That song is pretty good. It's really good. I liked it. Anyway, Daddy Dearest. Oh, um, let me see. Let me think. 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 Hmm. I really did like Dad Battle. That one was really good. <laughs> I really did like that song. Yeah. Hey, by the way, I have to say one thing. Both of you are really good. I really did like the uh, song Hot Chocolate that you sung during uh, Christmas time. That was a really, really great song. Thank you. Yeah, we worked really hard on it. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's move on to the next g bunch of questions. All right, let's see. Ah, here we go. This question here is for girlfriend. So, girlfriend, uh, what do you think about some of the different outfits or models of you during a during some mods in Friday Night Funkin. I honestly like them. Like for example, there's a mod where I'm a mermaid. It was definitely pretty good. Me and me and, me and boyfriend, we actually sung. It was pretty weird and cool and stuff. And not to mention there was um the agent mod where I actually was all decked out with like military armor. That was when boyfriend was facing off against Hank. 
Okay, now that one was pretty good. Oh, but my all-time favorite one that I liked? That would definitely be the Star Cluster. Star Cluster? I ain't never heard of that one. Oh, it's basically a mod where, um... It's basically a mod where everybody's in space. The songs are different. It's awesome. Oh, well, that's cool. But my favorite, but my favorite version of you is definitely the Neo version. I mean, come on. You look pretty good and you look pretty good with black hair and pink highlights and stuff. You look really good. Wow. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Yeah, you look pretty awesome. Okay, anyway, let's move on. All right, uh, Cassandra. All right, this question here is for Mommy Mirist. So, Mommy Mirist, are you really proud of your daughter? Of course, I'm absolutely proud of my daughter. I mean, she's the only little girl that I have. She's absolutely amazing. I love her so much. And I'm really proud of the and I'm really proud of the woman that she grew up to be. I am really, really proud of her. Aw, thanks, Mom. Of course you're of course you are, um, stirring away from your demon heritage a little bit. Mother, I'm not doing that. I know that I'm a demon through and through. It's just that I it's just that I haven't been in my demon form in a long while. I mean, think about it. Hmm. Well, yes, that is true. You haven't been in your demon form for a long while, and the reason why that you're like this is because so that way you can go out in public. Yeah. No more hiding. I really don't want that. And thanks to Boyfriend and Flame, I'm able to travel to different dimensions and mods and stuff. Yeah, I do have to admit, she is more lifelike now that she's, you know, doesn't have the purple skin and the glowing red eyes. But she did have the glowing red eyes when she, when boyfriend first off against Tank Man. Oh boy. But anyway, let's move on. Okay, Daddy Dearest, this question here is for you. Alright, so, Daddy Dearest, um, do you honestly think that, you know... You went a little bit too far when you shot the boyfriend in the, uh, Boyfriend's Dead mod. Okay, I do have to admit, I did sort of, you know, go overboard. I did sort of kind of went overboard because, I gotta remember, all I want is my, um, daughter to be happy. And when I shot the boyfriend, I, uh, really made her upset. Yeah, Dad, you really did make me upset. I was crying my eyes out. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I am really sorry. Luckily, luckily, after that rap battle, his spirit did manage to go back into his body. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was a really interesting mod. And I really felt bad for girlfriend, I really did. I mean, think about it. All your happiness, just gone. All thanks to one measly bullet. Yeah, I really did feel bad. I am really sorry, girlfriend. It's fine. As long as boyfriend is okay. And he is. And evil. Ugh. Okay, anyway, group question. Oh boy, now this one's a really, really serious question. Um, okay, ready? Here it is. So, to the dearest family, how did y'all feel about the divorce mod? Oh no, not that mod. Okay, um, for those of you guys who don't remember what the heck the divorce mod is, it's basically, um, it's basically a mod where Daddy Dearest and Mommy Mirest got into a huge fight and they almost got a divorce. They almost got a divorce. But luckily, they, um, you know, did manage some things. They did manage some things, and they actually got married all over again. <laughs> it was actually pretty crazy. But anyway, what were your reactions? Well, with me, I was a little bit upset. I didn't want my parents to get split up. They've been together ever since I was little. Well, obviously. But anyway, I was really, really happy. I was really happy when they're together, because honestly, look at them. They belong together. 
And plus, if it wasn't for them being together, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, that is true. Plus, not to mention they wouldn't have adopted me as sort of their other daughter. Oh yeah, Cassandra, that is true. They do sort of see you as a daughter. Yes, they actually do. It's really weird, but it's really nice and stuff to actually be owned by a family. Because, you know, I am actually a spider demon. Yeah, I know that you're a spider demon, but it's okay. Just as long as you uh, keep control of your spider side. No promises. Oh, boy. Anyway, uh, Daddy Dearest, Mommy Mirest, what did you guys think about the um, divorce mod? Well, I was really wholesome in that mod. I was really, really upset that I was going to lose the love of my life. Because, believe it or not, I actually took the necklace that she's wearing right now. I took the necklace back. Because you see, because you see, believe it or not, I brought, I actually, um, <laughs> wanted to keep a piece of her. I actually wanted to keep a piece of her. I'll, I was going to miss her, so I just kept the necklace. Well, that is a good thing. I mean, heck, if Sarah left me, I would have kept something of hers. I would have kept something of hers to remind me of her. But of course, Sarah, she's not going to leave me at all. I love her too much. Anyway, Mommy Mirist, now what about you? What did you think about it? Well, to be honest, I was really upset. I was really upset. And when Daddy Dearest told me that he kept the necklace to remind him of me, I, believe it or not, was touched. I was really touched. I was so happy that he would still he still loved me even after a great big fight and that divorce thing. Of course, I will always love you. No matter what, I will always love you. We can have a million fights and there's nothing and I repeat nothing that anybody or any or anything can do to to Keep us apart. <laughs> oh, well, that's really sweet of you. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Well, anyway, that's... That was really good. And besides, I'm glad that all three of you are okay now. I'm glad that all three of you are okay now. <laughs> anyway... Let's move on to the next bunch of questions. I think we got like two more individual questions and two more group questions. So let's keep the ball rolling. All right. So next up is the girlfriend for her question. Okay, uh, girlfriend, do you honestly think that your life is in danger ever since you met the boyfriend? I mean, come on, think about it. In the Among Us mod, you literally got killed. In the Agati mod, you almost fell to your death. And also, not to mention, uh, in the Big Brother Week 2 mod, you immediately got scared out of your mind. And, not to mention, in the Tabby mod, you got blown up. So my question is, do you honestly think that boyfriend is safe? I mean, do you honestly think that he's, you know, that danger follows you all over the place? Well, yeah, I think, yeah, now that I think about it, every time when boyfriend does always rap battle somebody... It always ends up with me getting killed or something. And I really don't like that. Yeah, I honestly feel you on that. Because that's just weird. He's too busy rap battling and you're getting and you're getting killed or kidnapped or something in the back. Like, people don't really pay attention to the background character? No, not really. Most people don't really pay attention to what's going on in the background. They're mainly focused on those arrows. Yeah, the notes. They're mainly focused on the notes. Oh boy. Uh, well, well, just as long as, you know, you're able to, I don't know, protect yourself. But hey, think about it. It's just a game. You can respawn, right? Well, yeah. Boyfriend can, and so can I. The world can just reset. And of course, like you said, I can easily respawn. It's a game. Yeah, that is true. 
Okay, anyway, Cassandra, go ahead and read the next question to Mommy Mirist. Alright. Question for you, Mommy Mirist. Um, what was, what was your reaction when you first met the boyfriend? Or when the boyfriend first met you? Well, let me say some... Well, let me just say, one, he was really something... He was, um, a little bit awkward, and he was actually rap-battling for me for my approval. I did give it to him. I did give him my approval. He actually would have made girlfriend really happy. So, yeah. So, basically, Daddy Dearest said no, but you said yes. Yeah, that's basically what happened. Yeah, <laughs> And that's what that whole divorce fight was. We always never agreed. I mean, I wanted to take boyfriend out, but she wanted to keep him around so that way girlfriend can be happy. Well, think about it. Well, think about it. You're too busy trying to protect your little girl, but you really do need to think about what's best for her. Like, what, what, like, what does she like? Or... Maybe you can just find somebody who, you know, is willing to protect her. And, of course, she did find somebody to protect her. Yeah, but like you said, but like she said in the last question, um, she's always getting killed when, he's, when she's around him. Yeah, that's true, but like I said, it's just a game. You guys can easily respawn. You guys can easily respawn. And if you're dead, you're dead, okay? If you're dead, you're dead. I mean, I mean, it's not like you can actually, um, die. Uh, may you rest in peace, Garcolo, because I know you actually died due to smoking. Oh, boy. But anyway, uh, okay, but anyway, Daddy Dearest, your question is up next. Let's see, uh, okay, here we go. So, Daddy Dearest, um, this question is for you. Um, uh, okay. This question is going to be a little bit complicated to answer, so try your best, okay? Um, w okay, so would you rather want boyfriend to be a demon or a human? Because if you think about it, if he was a demon, then you would definitely approve of him being with your daughter. But if he was a human, you would definitely, you know, be unapproved, and of course you... Would hate his guts. And because he's dating your daughter. Well, man. That is a really hard question. Well, either way. Either way. I still wouldn't like him. Because he's still taking my little girl away from me. Um. Well. If he is. Well. If he was a demon. Then maybe I could have approved. I could have approved. Maybe. I don't know. Because honestly. I wanted her to get with a demon, not a, uh, little short human boy. But, if I had to choose, I guess I would have to say human. I mean, he clearly makes girlfriend happy. He clearly makes girlfriend happy. Well, not anymore. Now that, you know. Yeah, but it's cool. I am doing a really good job taking care of her. I promise you, I'm doing a good job taking care of her. Yeah, you better. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's move on to the group question. Okay, let's move on to the group question. Next group question. Okay, um... Okay, uh, let's see, uh... Ah, here we go. So, how did y'all feel... Okay, so, how do y'all feel about the lemon demon trying to corrupt everybody? I honestly don't like the Lemon Demon, even though he is my cousin. I really don't like it. Yeah, I'm not much of a big fan of Lemon Demon either. Yeah, I really don't like him either, even though I do work with him. He did give me access to the corruption, but sadly, the corruption affected me and everybody around me. So, I'm never going to be working with the corruption ever again. Yeah, the Lemon Demon, he is pretty creepy. No wonder, you know, Skid and Pump told me about him. And he is really, really creepy. 
I mean, think about it. He's the only Friday Night Funkin' universe that act. I mean, he's the only Friday Night Funkin' character that actually talks while he's singing or rapping. I mean, you guys just make sounds and stuff, but he actually speaks actual words. Uh, it's creepy. Yeah, I know. And he's even more creepier in the Neo mod. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. He is really creepy. But anyway, okay, so we're down to the last three individual questions and the last group question. All right, here we go. Cassandra, go ahead and ask girlfriend her question. All right, this question here is for you, girlfriend. So, um, how did you, f how do you feel about boyfriend becoming evil? How did you feel? Honestly, I was a little bit upset. I was thrilled at first. I was thrilled at first because finally, when he became a demon, I thought finally my father would approve of him. But I honestly didn't think that he was going to become evil and cheat on me with his ex-girlfriend. Which, by the way, I have met. She's a little bit weird. Ugh. Yeah, now you know why I don't like her. Okay, well, um, go ahead and continue. Well, anyway, um, yeah. I really didn't like the fact that my boyfriend actually did turn evil. It was just horrible on so many levels. It was just horrible. Plus, not to mention, he broke my heart. He broke my heart before, but not like this. Oh, boy. Uh, anyway, anyway, I am really, really sorry, girlfriend, but don't worry. I promise you, he will pay, because he is looking at a new rap battler in Friday Night Funkin'. Yeah, you yeah, you stick it up to him. Of course, right after you sort things out with your father. Yeah, thanks. Anyway, anyway, next up is Mommy Mirist. Okay, Mommy Mirist. The question is, let's see. The question is, what do you like to do in your free time? What do you like to do in your free time? Oh, well, that's quite simple. I sometimes like to go get my nails done and stuff. Yeah, they actually look nice. By the way, how do you manage to do things with those long claws? Mm, it's not that easy, but I still manage. Okay. Anyway, what else do you like to do? Well, other times I do like to go to the beach and, you know, work on my tan. I do work as a lifeguard sometimes. Oh, I didn't know you worked as a lifeguard. Yeah. You know, why do you think every time I always go to the beach, I always wear a uh, red bikini or leotard? Uh, I have never seen you at the beach. I have never seen you at the beach, but now I'm a little bit curious. Hey, I'm kidding, Daddy Dearest. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. But anyway, but anyway, so when you're not rap battling, you're a lifeguard and you sometimes work on your nails and your makeup and stuff. Mm-hmm. Other times, I sometimes go for a jog, or I go shopping with my daughter. Oh, well, that's nice to know. Typical mother-daughter typical mother -daughter stuff. I always go shopping and hanging out and stuff. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, my mom and my sister actually do do that a whole lot. <laughs> but anyway, now, fi now time for the final individual question, and that's for Daddy Dearest. Okay, Cassandra, go ahead and do this. Right. So this question here is for Daddy Dearest. Um, what were you thinking when you um What were you thinking when you when you adopted uh Cassandra? Mainly me. Well, to tell you the truth, I thought she was the perfect addition to the family. And I thought, hey, it was pretty good. <laughs> But I obviously didn't think that she was going to fall in love with my assassin that I hired. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You did hire Pico. Yeah, um, guys, for those of you guys who don't know, believe it or not, Daddy Dearest hired Pico to assassinate Boyfriend. To assassinate Boyfriend. But after that, they, but after that, <laughs> Pico and Boyfriend actually became really good friends after... Pico got beaten in a rap battle. Yeah. Worst a thousand bucks I have ever spent. Wait, you wait, you spent a thousand bucks on Pico? Hey, Pico was expensive. 
But anyway, back to Cassandra. She was definitely a really great daughter. Plus, not to mention, after when we had girlfriend, we tried making other, we tried to have more kids, but the doctor said that mommy Mirist couldn't have any more. So, yeah. But it was still okay. It was still okay. We did manage to adopt Cassandra, who was a spider monster. But in a way, she's sort of like girlfriend. Having a human side and a monstrous side, it's definitely pretty good. It was definitely pretty good. Okay, well, anyway, we're moving on to the last group question. We're moving on to the last group question, and this one should be pretty easy. So, how do you guys feel about what I'm doing for the girlfriend? Well, I already answered, so, Mom, Dad, what do you think? Well, I obviously think what Flame is doing for you, girlfriend, is very, very heroic and, not to mention, very, very helpful. Really? Yes, you're doing such a great job taking good care of my daughter. Yeah, and I also noticed from your reputation, you really do like helping women that's been wronged. Yeah, that is sort of my nature. I mean, you ever heard of the phrase, damsel in distress? Yeah, well, you know out there, there's a lot of damsels in distress. So, I'm just trying my best to help out. I'm just trying my best. Well, I understand. I understand. And you keep up the good work on protecting my daughter. Okay, anyway. Anyway, I do need to prepare for my rap battle with boyfriend. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna. I don't know what's gonna happen. Hmm. I don't know yet, but we'll soon find out when the day comes. Yeah. And before that day comes, I have some issues that I need to work out with my father. Yeah. You do that. Oh, and also, good luck. I heard that you're doing a whole lot of training. You keep up the good work. Okay. Thanks a lot, sir. Anyway, oh hey, um, Mommy Mirist. Yes? Um, I was actually thinking about something. Um, do you think that you can make a wedding, do you think you can make a copy of your wedding dress for Sarah? It would look really great for her next Halloween costume. Hmm, I'll think about it. Okay, thanks. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we reached the end of yet another installment of Ask the Sonic Crew. And I do like to thank boyfriend, I mean, I do like to thank girlfriend, daddy dearest, and mommy mirest for coming on here and <laughs> answering questions. And I also do like to thank Cassandra for helping me out with the, um, sorry, for helping me out with the uh, questions. It was my pleasure. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get back to Pico. He and I were supposed, were supposed to be going out. Oh, well, all right, you can go. <laughs> anyway, girlfriend, you take care of yourself. I'll come and get you when the time comes, all right? Right. Mommy Mirist, Daddy Dearest, it was, was, it was great, but I got to go and get back to training. I got to get back to training so that way I can finally defeat my father in this final battle. You go get him, Flame. Yeah, we're rooting for you over in the Friday Night Funkin' universe. Thanks. Well, guys, you heard it here. The people of Friday Night Funkin' gave me their support. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to bring Daddy Dearest, Mommy Mirest, and the girlfriend back onto the channel to do something like another D, like another Google video, because we already did two of them already, or a game of Would You Rather? I don't know. But anyway, but anyway, and if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way you guys will be up to date whenever I post. And I also do apologize for the people who did not get their questions read out. But don't worry, you can always try again next time for the next episode of Ask the Sonic Crew. And like always, it's going to be good where I have a new group of people and they try their best to answer their que answer your questions. <sighs> anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog, girlfriend, mommy Mirest, and daddy dearest, signing out for now. Later flamethrowers. Goodbye my little demons.